Hello there my fellow Holo Table Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hope you had a great week behind you and that you're looking forward to start your weekends. But first we are taken to Endor and to be honest Endor is one of my favorite uh, planets to go to uh, just because of the modifier is really fun to use. <laughs> What's not fun is actually the enemy we are facing. Anyway more about it later. As always I'll cover the modifiers and defeats first and then show you the battles. As always YouTube chapters below if you want to skip through to the area of the video you're interested in. Otherwise as mentioned before the Ender modifier is really really fun. Part of the tribe because we do gain a special ability and then depends on who uses it you get different bonuses and it's got an eight turn cooldown that's shared across your entire team so basically every other turn somebody should be able to use this so if attacker uses it we get assists if healers or support we gain extra turn meter and then if tank uses it you get critical hit immunity and a foresight for two turns and they taunt as well so depending on the situation mostly i'll be using it with support to if i want to boost turn meter or with attackers if i want to get some mass assists and more damage in there in terms of the modifier it's galactic republic challenge so we do have stat fast retribution which in its own is a brilliant modifier very annoying to go up against um, it however whenever we are given to it we're always kind of facing an enemy that kind of offsets it so it's not really all that powerful because whenever they deal uh, damage then we re reflect that damage back onto them but these guys they don't they do just very little amounts of damage obviously except mall and they're constantly counter-attacking and because of bowing they're constantly healing up so even though like Kendris is assisting like crazy he's assisting and healing himself up back at the same time so as mentioned the only one that really will be hurt by this is Maul when he does his big anguish hits or as well best Carmando when he unleashes his whistling birds everybody else just constantly healing themselves up so we got the code modifier so that's kind of an annoying one to go up against with because for each stack that they gain uh, then they will be gaining max protection and counter chance so they'll be counter attacking a lot again then tying in with bows unique that recovers health and protection whenever they attack out of turn annoyingly in combination with status retribution so they keep hitting us we keep reflecting damage back onto them and before you know it they've got like 50 60 stacks of clan loyalty and constantly counter attacking so really status retribution is actually helping them jack up faster than we can actually do much damage to them so to be honest i don't think status retribution is really helping us at all in today's uh, challenge now in terms of feats we have to win with a full team of galactic republic unit win with an undersized squad and as well gain offense sub depending what you've got you can maybe get all of this done like you know offense sub galactic republic in one go and then undersized in another go again i'm not trying to use any galactic legends so i'll show you free battles so first uh, we'll be starting off with Galactic Republic. I tried Padme and Padme could work. I know that some members of community got it to work with Padme. I just personally had better success with John Skywalker uh, just because of his leadership. Whenever an enemy gains a buff, we gain 2% stacking offense. And every time they gain clan loyalty, that counts as a buff. So the enemies will have like, you know, 50, 60 stacks. Uh, so each, so that's like what? 250 300 stacks so we'll be getting like 600 or even more percent offense so once guest guest stands up he'll be doing a lot of damage as well as uh, uh, other clones as well especially after uh, five sacrifices triggered Molly is very fast he'll out uh, he'll try my rex uh, so that here they come so you can see they got quite a lot of stacks of clan loyalty on them already because we are reflecting that damage back on them okay there we go okay well it's a bit of an rng because obviously more here can ignore taunt so depends who he increases cooldowns on uh, sometimes he doesn't unload all five stacks of anguish he just does an aoe as there it's a bit of rng involved in this one i think i need like three or four attempts to get this done there we go i lost fives i'm not sure was uh uh his sacrifice triggered or not or did they just outright defeat him i'm not sure what's going on here everything's happening so fast i'm gonna use here the event ability just to boost the turn meter to the team because echo is actually support unit uh, okay just trying to make sure my guys survive if they can there we go guess got up well, time to do our big aoe boom ah wasn't able to quite finish them off but as you can see we're doing quite a nice 
chunk of damage already. There uh, we go, Whistling Birds, as mentioned before, best Carmandos Whistling Birds is the only one that you will really notice uh, Stephas Retribution actually doing any anything to them. Otherwise, we're doing hopefully nice damage already, let's go have a look. Oh, oh, oh. one shot bow there with Dark Trooper. Let's unload an AoE now. Everybody gone, so just small now left uh, to finish off. And that's really it, it's definitely John Skywalker works pretty well uh, because of the clan loyalty buffs stacking so that completed for me only galactic republic uh, feat uh, so let's move on onto the undersize next i found dark forever to work well just because mala keeps these guys under control i had to start three or four times again uh, just to make sure that the opening sequence they don't go after throne or basti uh, so that everybody survive so there you go uh, here i use the assist ability just to get a few hits out there I'm going to go ahead, uh, sure, just go ahead, do that, there we go, that's what we want, we want to fracture whoever's got taunt on them so they can't regain the taunt, so now we are free to go around, um, there we go, alright, so we got Kandra slow enough that now armor would be taunting, so we don't worry about the taunt anymore, I'm going to just keep going now after Kandra, try to get him down in the yellow, uh, so we can then uh, put death mark over on all, perfect, Deathmark or more, just try to get him down now as fast as I can. Wild Lightning, I'm going to go ahead and now swap with Re uh, Revan here. Use the event ability to get mass assist because Revan is an attacker. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, there we go. Maul is down now, just to take out Candorus. And you know, from here on out, we are good to go. Candorus is gone, uh, so is Maul. I mean. Best Carmandos Whistling Birds can still be a little bit annoying, but if you constantly keep fearing him, he won't be able to go into Whistling Birds anyways. Just going after Bonex to stop their healing. Sure, get a stun there on armor, why not? Finish off armor, and there we go. Your undersized feed <laughs> complete as well. Again, I needed three or four attempts on this one, just so that everybody survived the opening uh, sequence. So with undersized feed, out of the way, let's go ahead and look at how I approached the offense up again. Probably many ways to do this. I just decided to go with Basti because her leadership gives us protection up, which gives us more survivability so we can survive all those hits, as well as most importantly, Jedi allies will gain 15% per meter at the start of the battle, which will allow me to outrun a very, very fast mole. Okay, and then also her unique is pretty good as well uh, because at the start of her turn, uh, she will grant a uh, battle meditation to your uh, Jedi allies, uh, which then actually will give them 70% um, counter chance. So that's also a little bit counter attacks there will help us with the damage so we can gun down more at the beginning. I didn't remote bust it, just, you know, whatever I've got on her, uh, nothing crazy there. And now John Skywalker, he's got an AO with days, uh, so hopefully we can land days so they don't counter attack because of clan loyalty. Uh, especially Maul. And now in order for me to make sure that we land that days, I did actually put some potency in my General Skywalker as well as offense for some damage. Uh, normally obviously we uh, guess we would prioritize protection. Slightly mod there and then I'm using uh, Jedi Tanakin because uh, his basic uh, lands healing immunity so it will stop Maul from healing up from bows unique. And again, same like Gas, because of that, I had to remote him slightly. Also, his AoE there gives you offense up uh, for the offense up uh, feed. Same like Gas, had to remote him a little bit, just add some potency there. So hopefully we can that land that healing immunity and offense as well for some extra damage. Uh, Shakti there, I didn't remote her. Her basic as well gives offense up to all allies who don't already have it. So that's really Anakin and Shakti is your offense up, uh, source of offense up. Didn't remote Shakti, she's at 333. It wasn't fast enough to outrun uh, Maul under Jedi Revan lead, that's why I went with Basti, because that 15% per meter was enough. Uh, and same like with Revan, didn't really remote him, just whatever I've got on him. Obviously we will need him for his mark, so we can mark down Maul and take him out before he causes too much trouble. So his second fastest there at 341 again didn't remote. So the only two as mentioned before I needed to remote was both Anakin. So there we go, uh, Shakti starts off, let's use the event ability to get a uh, turn meter for the team, then uh, we go direct focus on Maul. Now if you get lucky you can also get turn meter removal there with direct focus. Most importantly we have to land healing immunity on Maul and then as much days as we can. We call Gas for assist, he's our main damage dealer here. 
Okay, there we go. So here you can actually get some luck as well with counter attacks that they go on mall. Um, whenever we have a battle meditation on these guys, just to help out a little bit with the damage. There we go, got a couple of hits on him with counter attacks. Again, calling gas for an assist. At the moment, all focus is on mall. We don't really care about other guys. I'm going to go again here, swap turn meter with gas, so we get more hits over there. That's fine, so you can see Maul is not healing up. One hit, two hit, almost got him down. Uh, let's see who will get our turn next. Um, hopefully we can get a turn in there with one of the attackers. Uh, let's go have a look. Uh, yeah, so Revan will go before Maul, perfect. So what I will do is just actually hide Revan in uh, stealth so he doesn't get taken out and counter attack. Now I can use the event ability yet again, get a mass assist because Revan's attacker and Maul is down. Uh, at this point, you are almost good to go. I mean, these guys can still uh, cause some issues here. Um, so here I was uh, going after both first just to stop their healing. There we go, getting some nice counter attacks. Here comes Best Carmando with his damage immunity, so I'll just focus down on uh, Bo as well, just to get her healing down. Okay, there we go, they keep going, they keep going, yeah. All right, perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead. I guess um, I want to stay away from counter attacks. I'm just gonna uh, there hit uh, Best Carmando because he had damage immunity. Uh, there we go. We got a stun there on Bow. Let's see if we can get her down. Uh, another assist there with Revan. Come on, Bow, go down. Down she goes. Perfect. Bow down. All right, going after armor next so she doesn't dish out some Beskar armor to somebody. Make sure at this point to also use Anakin's AoE for some offense up. Okay, there we go. And that's it. Finished off these guys as well. Uh, so once obviously you do take those uh, mall down, just kind of a, trying to stall a little bit, but you know, offense up 20 times. Just a couple of AoEs there from Anakin. Basti gives offense up, so does Shakti, so sh I didn't really focus too hard, I was just trying to win uh, in this one. Alright, so that completed the third and final feat for me. Uh, hopefully this video was useful and helpful, just showing you, without using Galactic Legends, what I did to get Max Reward today's challenge. It was definitely a little bit more annoying than I thought, because as soon as I saw, hey, stat versus attribution, mole, Padme should handle this easy, uh, but just seems like John Skywalker worked much better for me. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one, but until then have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.